Today, uh, we'd like to share our inner source journey of Huawei. We pinned down the title as inner source 2.0, building the community around the inner source project. My name is uh, William Jiang. I'm an open source expert in Huawei. I also a member of Apache Software Foundation. My name is Li Long. I'm a system reliability expert of Huawei. We united the inner source pilot project since 2015. Our achievement switched from SVN to Git more than 5,000 project repo are hosted in our internal code platform, opened about 1 billion lines of code. However, building a collaborative environment is hard. Some development claimed they, they were too tired to keep maintaining the project by themselves. Before we move to the inner source 2.0, let's have a look at the defined of inner source from Wikipedia. Inner source is the use of open source, open source software development, best practice, and the establishment of an open source-like culture within organize. In this way, we need to learn from open source first Open source way is uh, characterized by openness, transparency, collaboration, peer review, meritocracy. These features are best present in open source community. As open source community is a group of people interacting and sharing ideas, code, documentations, we are working together uh, virtually on open source software as developer user, evangelists, marketers, uh, sales people, and investors. The people of the uh, community also share knowledge by mentoring or peer review. We can see the knowledge is produced by mentor and consumed by mentee. The knowledge is passed in a single way in the open source world. So we start the inner source 2.0 zero this year is this mainly focus on the community side. As people, uh, as Apache way, AKA community of our code, we need to build a community around the inner source projects. We need to bring people who share the same ideas with us together. Uh, inner source of Buster take a key role to bring more people into inner source community. We say this uh, in my saying, this is from my own experience. I got in touch with uh, Daniel through the Chaos Asia Pacific uh, meeting. During the meeting, he introduced the inner source common Slack channel and the inner source patterns to me. I meet uh, Sebastian and Faye and Claire through the virtual coffee uh, birthday Slack channel. We share our journey of the inner source and open source. Sparks of ideas keep merging through our talk. It's really a great experience for me to join the community with the help of others. Now I'm keeping sharing my experience with my colleagues to encourage them to join the community of the inner source common, uh, comments. Valuable lessons we learned from inner source 1.0 we summarize these five key points after talking to the people who got involved of inner source 1.0. We hope we can employ this valuable point in our inner source 2.0. We will explain them one by one. Uh, the first one is knowledge sharing. In, a, in, in the inner source 1.0 project, we only focused on the on making the code open to everyone and uh, didn't share background knowledge about the code. Files such as readme is too simple and uh, does not cover 
the essential essential knowledge for the communication to learn about the code is as effective to them as this blank blank book so so we started a template project to help people with the inner source project setup we also provided the how to documents on the project wiki page as this template project is employed in many inner source project we are running it as a as a inner source project now we are using issue to track the inner source related question constantly updating the how to document based on the feedback and uh, encouraging others to send MR if they find any error or have any good ideas. Oh, the second uh, uh, lesson is that we should always put paper over tools. In InnoSource 1.0, we build our social code platform on GitLab, GitLab where anyone can create a Git repo. We merely provided a training session, uh, sessions of Git, but we don't know how to use these tools in the open source way. Now, we are running the OpenX project to provide the, the communicating, communicating with the portal service, which include the mail, mailing list, Git label, wiki, and uh, we link. We are also encouraging people to interact uh, and uh, share ideas, code, uh, or document documentation while working together virtually. This service help people work together as a communication. The third principle is cooperation and oversharing. It's easy to simply uh, make the developer code available to everyone and share them across the department. But it takes time and efforts to bring a contributor on board. We need to lower the barrier of making contribution and help the beginner to understand the context of the code through the code, code review. The inner source commons learning policy is a good example. It's not only provide the learning materials about inner source, but it is also serve as a good platform for people to work together. We can discuss translation terms and practice code review process by polishing the documentations. When my colleagues asked me how to get real experience of open source, I recommend them to participate in this project by doing some translation or review tasks. The fourth principle is top-down and bottom-up principle. As uh, Jim Whitehouser uh, wrote his book, Open the Organization, there's a lot of difference between the, the conversion organization and open organization. In a big company, it's straightforward to send commands straight, uh, through the hierarchy system. But in open source community, people work in more self-organized self manner. They are self-motivated to do the things what they want to do. Even we got support from the higher um, management uh, level, we, we still need to lower the rules of open source community to get developer passionate about the project. We believe the most efficient and effective solution is to empower the people who are capable to get things done. Now, we set up uh, internal inner source foundations to provide the inference structure, facility, and project governance. This is inspired by Apache Software Foundation. And uh, we are committed to build a collaborative, collaborative culture. Inner source foundation can get the top-down permissive component from senior staff 
and pro promote both up tangible projects and work for, for people to engage. The, four, the fifth lesson is community health first. It's easy to get some up for the inner source project if we ask a favor from our colleagues. We may be happy about the numbers, but it doesn't bring effective interactions into the cooperation. We need to think about the metrics which can make the inner source project uh, truly sustainable. This is the inner source ma maturity model from the inner source pattern. It is very useful tool to help us set up common understanding of the inner source. We can monitor the project status from the level of uh, transparency, collaboration, community, health, and governance. Conduct uh, some self-assessment and uh, set the goal, goals uh, for our inner source project. To summarize this presentation, we have three takeaways. Inner source take lessons from the open source, inner source ambassador take a key role, and community overcode is a core principle for our inner source 2.0 project. That's all.